What is up, everybody? Alex from WMD here, back at you again, and this time we're going to talk a little bit more about Javelin, the envelope, and VCA combo. This time we're going to talk about slow envelopes. So in the last video I made, we talked about snappy envelopes, how to make really quick blips, and um, more like low-pass gate, percussive kind of stuff. This time we're going to use Javelin to create a super long, evolving envelope, and we're basically just going to use it as the master intensity level setter, I guess, of our patch. So I'm going to take one signal out of envelope or out of Javelin. That one envelope signal I'm routing all over the case to make our patch get more and more intense over time. And then as we reach that apex, we'll be super intense and then we'll go slowly back all the way to zero. So why might you want to do something like this, right? One, ambient patches. This is kind of a cool way to dictate your uh, your intensity level for the patch or for the set, right? So you start the envelope in motion and then the whole patch grows over time. And if you have it set to an amount, you know, you can use that to kind of dictate your set length. You also might want to use it for something like a uh, art project, like an art installation, right? So you can set the envelope going and then over time, people might not even realize that things are happening. Things are getting, you know, more and more intense as far as the sound goes for, for your installation. There are envelopes out there that go for days, years. Um, those are probably more in the software realm. There's LFOs that go forever, you know, just super long. I'm not really sure what the longest envelope in Eurorack is. Javelin can get pretty long. So with the attack and release all the way up or, or the attack or with the attack decay and release knobs all the way up, uh, each stage can be 23 seconds long. So that might not sound very long. That's without CV, right? Once we add five volts of CV, each stage can go all the way up to 88 minutes. So we can get a super, super long envelope. I'm not gonna do it quite that long in this video. I am gonna use some CV and we're gonna extend the range a little bit, but I'm hoping that we're gonna land around five minutes. That's my goal, is that the envelope, uh, the whole envelope attack to release is gonna take five minutes. So let me explain the patch a little bit and then we're just gonna let this thing fly and we're just gonna listen to it. So I have attack and release all the way up. I have decay all the way up, but I have sustain all the way up. So it doesn't really matter where decay's at. I've got mode switch on. That means that we're gonna get all the way through the attack phase and then we're gonna go to the release phase. So we're basically just doing a super long AR envelope. Why I'm doing an AR is so I can just hit it with a trigger, walk away. We're just gonna listen to it. I've got this one output here in this orange cable and I've got it multed all over with passive multi multiple cables. So we're just gonna explain where it's going and what the sound is, what you're gonna hear, and then we're gonna let it rip. So I've got the PDO running through the carbon going straight into the mixer. That voice plus the fracture are the only two voices that we're gonna hear. This is the only things we've got going on. So to explain the PDO first, I have the PDO going through the filter, the carbon filter into the mixer. And then I have the envelope signal is going into the filter cutoff. So we're gonna start pretty low past, and then we're gonna, as we build intensity, we're gonna turn up the cutoff frequency basically. I also have that molted here, and that's going to this white cable, which is split. So that's going into the CV input on the triple bipolar VCA. This is basically the last VCA of the PDO. So the PDO is hooked up to the triple bipolar VCA and we're getting some modulation going. And then at the end, we're basically just turning up this VCA and turning it back down. So that's gonna be basically master volume. So we've got the filter and volume on the same VCA level. So we're just gonna be going louder and louder as well as allowing more high frequency harmonics to come through. Then we've got that split. Let's see where this one goes. So this one comes up here. This goes to our Modbox LFO and it goes into the CV. So the faster or the higher the envelope goes, the faster our LFO is gonna go. We've got this LFO routed out of the three phase out. We've got it routed to the reverb input on Fracture. So as the LFO goes faster, we're gonna get more like these reverb kind of breath sounds. It's gonna, that's gonna be pretty cool. 
And then we've got the other output going into this OSD. And we've got OSD ORing with another signal. And this signal is coming from the Volterra, which is running through time warp, just to kind of slow it down a little bit. Um, so we're not getting super fat, uh, fast jolts. But we're just ORing those two signals. And basically what we're going to do is uh, that's running out of the OSD. That's running into the uh, Javelin's VCA and then into this input on the triple bipolar VCA. So what that's doing is the Javelin's VCA is going to open with intensity and that's going to let us send this ORD weird modulation into the triple bipolar VCA's CV input here, which is going to allow for some really weird or some really like intense um, phase modulation. And then we've got output two of PDO just running straight in to the CV input um, here on TBVCA. That's going to add some crazy modulation as well. That's just basically giving us some more phase modulation points. Um, to continue here, we've got this white cable, the other side of it is going over into this toolbox, which is going into a comparator. So I've got the other side of the comparator coming out. There's a Volterra, or sorry, a 410 running into the other side. This 410 has its voltage up just a little bit. And so what that means is that once the voltage coming out of the envelope gets to a certain voltage, breaches this voltage threshold, basically, we're going to send a gate out. That gate is going into fractures infinite input. And so that's going basically to turn on fracture in its infinite mode, which is like the applause mode, right? It's just like rolling stuff. And so we've got this envelope signals also going into density on fracture. So as the envelope gets higher, we're going to get more intense and more dense applause. It's just going to get more crazy as we go and then fade away. And then we've got Volterra just running a sequence going into surface. This is basically changing the, um, like the samples inside a fracture. So we're going to hear different things and that's not really being controlled by the envelope. That's just to give us some variety in the sound. So I think I got everything. I don't want you to get too in the weeds about the details of the patch. This isn't a you know, tutorial on how to make a crazy ambient or generative patch. This is just an example of how to use a super slow envelope and what you could do with this one signal to create something that just gets more intense over time and less over ten and then less intense over time. So last thing, I do have this output from Volterra going into the gate input on Javelin. So once I turn that up, we're just going to set the thing rolling. So that's it. At the end of the patch, once the envelope is done, that's going to be the end of the video. So I'm just going to say it now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Peace.